All right, so coming in at number nine on this list, and it's going to be the first mod that we're gonna look at, we're gonna be looking at the Bulb Zone Improved mod. So as we all know, the Bulb Zone is a fairly flat biome, I would say, you know, there's not really much else going on aside from the giant bulb. What this mod does is it adds a bunch of new terrain to the Bulb Zone. And as we can see, we're already looking at one right here. It adds a lot of these giant arches that you can find all throughout the Bulb Zone. There's one over there, there's one right here, one right there. And it also adds a new little area, which I am right next to. As we can see, this small area right here is entirely new. It's got a little arch right here. And if we head all the way down, where we can see some molten lava down here, it is just for show. Okay, whatever. Regardless, we have this cool looking area down here with all this molten lava. So that's nice, a little nice addition to the biome. What's that biome from below zero? Uh, the Twisty Bridges, I think the na that's the name. Got some more of the molten lava down here. It really sucks that none of this is, oh, this is a whole little cave right here. It sucks that this none of this is actually hot but you know, it still looks cool, so that is a plus. A lot of the bio mods for this game are rather simple in nature, so we are gonna see that all throughout this video, but there are a little, there are some other ones that are a bit more complex, and they are near the top of the list, so yeah. But other than that, I believe that is about all this mod as to your game, as far as the bulb zone goes, so it'll significantly change the bulb zone biome, and it'll add a nice little, a new little area to the bulb zone that you can explore. So that's all pretty cool. And with that, we can head on to our next mod. All right, so the next mod we have on today's list coming in at number eight is going to be the Floating Island Remastered or Floater Island, same diff, whatever. So this is another one of those simple mods that I was just talking about. You can see that there is a new peak to the mountain on the floating islands right here. So that's what this mod adds. And also, so we got the mountain peak up here that's added by the mod. But the main highlight that I want to show from this mod is the secret cave that this mod adds to the floating islands because it's already a secret cave as if you didn't already know there's like two caves there's one that leads like into this little watery area right here and then the other one that leads to the portal on this island but this one adds another secret cave if we go around the right side of the island we go all the way around here and we see this like big old arch right here if we head through here and we look to the left there's this big old open area now that we can actually build the only issue with this spot is the lighting is a little weird because i can't really understand like how the lighting works in this spot because like this shade right here and then there's like sun i understand that it's coming from like this sort of hole you know but like it still just looks kind of weird i don't know but yeah the floater island remaster mod the main highlight is that it adds this big old secret cave in the floating islands that you can build a pretty decent sized base in but yeah that is the floater island remastered mod and with that we are going to head on to the next mod on this list so coming in at number seven on this list we have the improved crag field mod which as the name entails it improves the crag fields by significantly changing the way the biome looks as we can already see there's a whole bunch of these twisty arches now added to the biome because it was kind of i mean the crag fields was interesting at first but it was a little bit plain i would say because it was just a, sort of like a bunch of spiky rocks now this sort of enhances that a little bit by adding a lot more of those rocks and making them a little more uh sporadic i guess you can say and the way that they're formed it revamps the entire biome and aside from just completely revamping the terrain that the crag fields has to offer i believe yeah i can already hear him this mod adds a reaper leviathan that can spawn in a certain part of the crag fields although i can't see him right now wow this thing is huge what the heck yeah there's the new reaper that can now spawn in the crag fields. there's only one reaper that can sort of spawn in the crag fields but you know it's still a reaper nonetheless so it's gonna make the crag fields just a little bit more dangerous as well, but it's also going to make it a thousand times cooler. But yeah, that was the improved Cragfield mod. Really awesome mod. And I really like the way it changes the entire biome. And with that, we can head on to our next mod at number six. All right, coming in at number six, the next mod we have on this list is going to be the Sparse Reef revamped mod. Wow, that was a mouthful. So what this mod does is it takes the Sparse Reef biome and it essentially enhances it by adding a bunch of new plants and fish that can actually spawn throughout the biome because the Sparse Reef was a little... Uh, a little bit dry as far as like creatures and plants went because there wasn't like a much oh, wasn't a much what the heck was i about to say there wasn't a lot of stuff here this mod sort of fixes that by adding a bunch of new plants that you can look at all throughout the biome and it also adds this giant precursor facility that sits right over this hole right here all right i don't know what that was so be careful whenever you're going near the um the giant precursor thing because i don't know if that was just a glitch with my game or what 
but as I started to get near the precursor base, I guess the game thought I was in like on land or something and I just fell all the way down there. So just be careful when you're going up to this precursor base. Head inside, we got this nice little cube right here looking all nice and spiffy. I'm not gonna spoil what's inside of this um, precursor facility. I'm gonna let you explore that on your own just in case you know you wanna be surprised or whatever. But just be careful whenever you're going up near the base because it, it can sort of like glitch you and make you fall all the way down here. But yeah, that is the Sparse Reef revamped mod. And with that, we can head on to our next mod. All right, so the next mod we have on today's list, and it's gonna be coming in at number five, is going to be the Falling Ecosystem mod. Now this mod is actually a combination of, I think it's three different mods. It's either three or four different mods. It's a combination of three or four different biome mods that all make up this one. So what this mod does is it changes the entire crash zone by adding a bunch of new areas and biomes to the crash zone. And we are in one of these areas right now i'm not sure what these are all called specifically because i forgot the names of them but this is one of the new areas that the mod adds into the game we got a little wreck right here it's a precursor structure we got these big old plants right here and then of course we have the grass the main highlight of this area and this is right next to all these changes take place in the crash zone i don't know if i mentioned that already all right we're in another area that this mod adds into the crash almost a crash field the crash zone and as we can see it's a much prettier area with all these purple with the purple grass all over the bottom and then we have these giant i forgot what these things are called but they look awesome it sort of illuminate the biome a little bit by giving us a little bit of light to see so that's nice and there's also this big old thing it looks like a meteor of some sort i would have to assume because of the you know the little lava streaks right here okay yeah it's 100 a meteor we got a giant skull up here being studied by precursors i guess because there's some precursor whites on it and whatnot all right and this is the last spot that this mod adds to the crash zone Ooh, I don't know what I just said. The crash zone. This is the last area that this mod adds to the crash crash zone. I can't speak. It's a little bit different than the other ones because there is this grass, but it's also, it's like super dark, like a super dark grass, almost like it's dead. This area is a bit more rocky than the other ones that we've seen so far, probably because it's like on this little edge right here, getting ready to transition into the void area, but it still looks awesome nonetheless. We got a little precursor thing right here, although I don't think that's a part of this mod. It's part of another mod that I'm going to show. And with that, we can head on to the next biome mod that we have on this list. All right, so the next mod that we have on this list and it's gonna be coming in at number four is going to be the Crash Zone Plus mod, another Crash Zone altering mod. So this mod's a bit different than the last one that we just saw. So this one does not add like a new biome specifically to the Crash Zone, but it does add some different landmarks and stuff you can actually explore in the Crash Zone. So we can see all throughout the biome, this Reaper Leviathan Skull is one of the many things that this mod adds to the Crash Zone because there are, this mod adds a lot more these all throughout the biome and we'll probably see a few more as we go around but we also see that there are some new wrecks behind the aurora that we can explore in the crash zone as well so we have one right here one right here and there's also one all the way down there and as we can see we also have some more wrecks right here also on this like really steep um slope we got so we got another one of those giant reaper leviathan skulls that i was talking about earlier this one's also being studied by some precursors it looks like because we can see the precursor lights over it so that's super cool there's a little foundation out here it's not much but it is still something it's a little foundation out here in the middle of nowhere it's got a data box that in container and then finally we have some new precursor structures that this mod adds into the crash zone and as we can see right under these we have some big old ion cube deposits and of course the warpers are here to defend it all but yeah this mod pairs really well with the falling ecosystem mod because they both add a lot of stuff to the crash zone making it a lot more interesting and with that we can head on to our next mod on this list all right so coming in at number three on this list the next mod we have on today's list is going to be the rising waters radiant reef mod so this mod I think this mod actually adds the most out of all the biome mods on this list. So the first thing is that this mod adds a bunch of new biomes that you can actually go around and explore. On the map, this is one of them. I believe this is called the Mountain Shallows, I think maybe mod creator feel free to correct me if i'm wrong on that regardless of what this biome is called it is a new biome added right next to the mountains biome it's sort of like attached to it and it's sort of like a mini safe shallows that sits right next to the mountains island i said mountains biome what it adds some precursor structures that you can go around and explore so that's also a big plus and the third thing it does is while it doesn't add like new creatures specifically 
it does add like new variants of creatures that you can look at and that we actually see okay so we can already see an example of one of the creatures i was talking about it's a little variant of the gasopod it's called the it's called the indigo gasopod it's just a you know like a little sub variant so the treat the creature itself it functions the exact same as the regular gasopod but it does look different which is you know a plus because we like things that look different in this game all right so we're in one of the other biomes that this mod adds into the game or maybe not adds but alters so this one is called the floral safe shallows i believe so we can see that there are a lot more plants it's a lot more vibrant and alive than the regular safe shallows so we have these kelp forest trees that sort of stick out around the cracks of this biome we have a tiger plant right there there's also this like little cool vine right here sort of like overgrowth almost oh i like how i like how it's right next to the kelp forest too so it actually makes sense that these would spawn and the last thing we're going to look at from this mod is going to be the new precursor structure that this mod or structures that this mod adds into the game so this adds a new precursor structure to the sea treaders path as we can see there's one it's not as big as the majority of precursor structures but it's still you know something to look at so we got a small little area over here and then we have these two giant pillars assuming that's where like the sea treaders walk through i also forgot to mention that this mod does change the spawns of some creatures and it actually makes some creatures spawn a little bit more by the is that a time capsule okay but yeah that was the rising waters radiant reef mod and with that we can move on to the next mod on this list all right so the next mod we have on today's list coming in at number two is going to be the deeper waters mod did i say that right yeah deeper waters mod so this is actually one of my favorite mods that alter the void because it adds a ton a ton of new stuff to the void that you can actually go around and explore and i'm in one of the areas right now so this is called the, I believe it's the Kyanite Reef. We've got a bunch of more area over here to explore. We got all this nice grass right here. Super big field slash dunes. We have a, what is that? As a Reaper Leviathan skull over here. Some nice lights around it. The color of this grass that the mod creator chose like for this mod, I think it's perfect. It fits perfectly with the whole vibe that the void has to it. And also looks awesome in a super dark area. We have these big old open areas out here. We're gonna keep exploring because I wanna show you the my favorite part of this entire mod and then we'll move on to number one. So if we keep heading this way out over here, we're gonna pass the, I believe this is the barren fields. And there's again, there's plenty of creatures, resources that you can find all in these different parts of the void. We got blood crawlers right there and there's some warpers behind me. And we saw some ampules in the kyanite area. All right, so this is actually my favorite part of this entire mod. And this area is called the Cyan Grove. And and it looks freaking amazing because of all these cool looking particles that show up whenever you enter the biome. We got some blood crawlers crawling around and there's also a crab squid. I think this, there's two or three crab squids. And they fit this biome perfectly, especially the way they look. But yeah, this is the cyan grove and this is, in my opinion, the freaking peak highlight of the deeper waters mod. As far as the biomes goes, this mod adds a lot of new biomes. The three biomes that I just showed you, those aren't even all the biomes that this mod adds because it also adds like an abyssal mountains area. And there's also another area, I believe. But yeah, that was the Deeper Waters mod. Really awesome mod. I like it a lot because it adds a ton of stuff to the void. And with that, we can head on to our number one spot. All right, so coming in at number one, we have the Remnants of Life mod, which adds a ton of stuff to the void and to other parts of the game, which is why I've made it over the Deeper Waters mod because both of those mods add things to the void. But this one adds things to the void and other parts of the game. So first we're going to look at what it does to the void. So we have this new little area over here. It's right in front of the Aurora, I believe. Whenever you first have this mod installed, a little beacon will show up automatically down here that'll guide you to this area. But this area is full of different plants. We got the mini deep shrooms right here. And it's also full of resources because we can see there's a copper deposit right here, gel sack, there was a yeah quartz deposit over there. So right under this spot, if we head all the way down, there's more to this biome, or there's more that this mod adds to the void. So if we head down a little and look to the left, we can see a mini tree cove from the Lost River. Looks pretty nice in the void as well. There's some more resources around it. And if we head down even further, we'll see that there is a giant skeleton right here. And we have a diamond deposit as well, which is not in the base game for Subnautica 1. It's only in Below Zero. So this mod adds diamond deposits into the game as well. So that's cool. We got a Reaper Leviathan Skull right there. And if we head down again, keep heading down even further, we can see there's another area right here, a bit smoother as far as the rocks go. We have a large ruby deposit right here and the Ghost Leviathan should start coming after me in a few seconds because we got some remnants of the Blood Kelp Zone right here. And then from there, if we head over to the left side, there's some stuff over here as well because we can see there's a little area right here that we can go on to. And then there's also this giant wreck 
that sits in the void as well that you can explore. So the entrance to this precursor base is actually on the front, a little unusual precursor base entrance. I've never seen anything like this before, but it's a small little door right here and you just enter. I guess you can bring the seam off all the way through, but there is a door that you're gonna have to use the, let's see. You're gonna have to have a purple tablet to open this door and be able to explore the entire facility. This is one of the other precursor bases that this mod adds into the game. This one's in the Grand Reef and it's sort of like hidden away by all these rocks. It looks pretty cool. Walk in and then you have a door right here that you need to use a orange tablet to open. But yeah, that was the Remnants of Life mod and it's going to be the mod that made number one on today's list because it adds so much to the game. It adds a lot of stuff to the void and it also adds a bunch of stuff scattered all throughout the biomes of Subnautica. Precursor bases different survivor bases that were built by the um as the mod says it was built by the survivors like the people in the life pods that's who the that's who built the survivor bases and then there's also some other degasi bases that this mod adds in different biomes around the map like i believe there's one in the tree cove as well but other than that that is about all i had for y'all thank y'all for watching i hope y'all enjoyed and i will see you on the next one peace